since we cannot go to this to the office to the lab to show you the real thing of tissue culture so I'm gonna uh, show you to start from home how can we actually do uh, tissue culture uh, at home by using things that you have at home and uh, for a start I'm gonna use this plant right here like two candidates I have my lemon tree and this is my uh, Japanese rose Okay. media I'm just gonna use this regular fertilizer which uh, which says uh, super mix which has 14% uh, of uh, nitrogen 12% of phosphorus and 18% um, of potassium so with uh, some organic compounds which uh, when you look at the back it, it says um, it has a trace amount, so you see it says here it's a 14% of nitrogen, 12% of potato of uh, phosphorus, and 18% of uh, potassium, which with some trace element of boron, copper, molybdenum, and sulfur. So, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna uh, dissolve like a certain amount. If let's say this is uh, for so it's gonna be you should see how much what is the weight right here so what we can do is you can take uh, some of this and we are going to weigh it out okay so this is my uh, pressure cooker which I will use to sterilize my stuff it means, um, if you don't because we don't have autoclave at home we can just use uh, this uh, pressure cooker to sterilize your stuff inside because uh, like I said it's gonna kill uh, all of it's going to sterilize your stuff when you put things in uh, the setup of my tissue culture at home which uh, I'm, I'm using storage box which I'm just tilting it over I'm gonna put it on sideways so that I can work inside it and this is a fan which um, can connect it to a USB port and um, and then I have Clorox, which um, which is as a bleach cleaning agent, anti bunkers antiviral agent, and um, okay, so that I, I thought it's gonna work like a laminar airflow. And this is actually um, usually in the lab we use is at seventy percent uh, alcohol, and I think you can just use the regular one. This is uh, the agar that I'm gonna use to make um, media, which uh, later I'm gonna use a microwave to show you how to do it. Okay, and I'm trying to uh, disinfect my workspace, which is uh, should be done with uh, uh, probably fifty percent of Clorox. Uh, okay. This is to make sure that it's uh, disinfected. So what we're doing now is uh, we're uh, dissolving the fertilizer in one liter of water, which it's uh, which is 50 grams of fertilizer into one liter of water. Oh, wow. In right, um, we're adding the uh, one gram to this, this yes. packet, one Kate. packet of agar into the one liter. Uh, of the mixed uh, mixed material of the fertilizer, which is our uh, nutrient for the media. We're gonna pour everything in. So we're keeping it into the microwave and uh, set the timer and voltage. If you think it would sterilize your stuff, this is eight hundred um, eight hundred watt, which is the highest that it can go. And let's see how long Seven minutes. And these are some of the ingredients that I have, which uh, has been uh, sterilized. Which uh, I'm already. This is 50% uh, Clorox, which is 50 parts water, 50 parts Clorox. I have sanitized this in because, um, and I dipped my tweezers and uh, my knife into this Clorox, 50% Clorox, so uh, while waiting for the water, so this is the setup. Okay, so um, I have already uh, sanitized everything in, in, in the space to make sure that it's clean. Since my gel has solidified, so I'm, I'm putting everything inside my, my workspace, 
which uh, I can see uh, this is hand sanitizer for your hands and then I have disinfectant and um, and these two glasses are 50% Clorox and this is uh, distilled water and the fan I've turned it on after I uh, have sprayed everything with disinfectant and um, I also have probably can't see this uh, a paper towel that has been uh, sprayed with, with uh, disinfectant so uh, I'm going to uh, begin with my uh, tissue culture procedure at home okay uh, to begin with the whole procedure I'm sanitizing myself with this hand sanitizer okay and uh, I've turned on the uh, the fan and that serves as uh, something that works just like the laminar airflow and uh, I have also dis disinfected uh, the whole side of this uh, media that I have. And um, next thing, uh, I am going to proceed with my next procedure, which is uh, sterilizing. All right, so um, the next procedure is we are going to oh. sterilize our plant right here, okay? And um, things that I have is, uh, this is uh, the knife that has been uh, soaked in Clorox, which should, which should uh, sterilize it for so long. And I, have, I also have my tweezer in here, which has been um, sterilized as well. And if you still remember that I said, you can use a pressure cooker for you to do it. So um, let's say you decided to use, um, this guy so make sure you cut it one cm or you can you can just put it oh, this is pretty hard for me to do this tweezer is not that great you can dip it into your clorox and let it sit for 10 minutes i'm gonna make a few cuttings which uh, the second one is this one i'm gonna dip it into the uh 50 percent clorox Okay, let it sit for 10 minutes. Okay, so it's already 10 minutes. I'm gonna take out my um, plant so I've just uh, sterilized my hands. Um, okay. And this guy, uh, what I'm gonna do is uh, I should. Um, I should cut them actually into uh, smaller pieces so that we can put small pieces into the uh, into the media. But um, we need to wash them first for three times. So you should wash them. You should dip them in the uh, distilled water for three times. So I'm um, this is one uh, beaker right here, but um, it's better if I'm just I'm not gonna. Show the whole thing with just that. Just dip them three times into the still water, okay? Actually, you need to have a clean uh, paper towels which has been disinfected. So this one uh, has already been uh, disinfected like for a few times, so that you can cut them up. Uh, you can wrap it in here. This is under washing, and you can straight away put all of them into your media carefully ah. make sure you don't open it too big um, you have to make sure that the wound touches the agar And um, the media should the, the the tissue cartridge should 
touch the media and you need to cover them up like really nicely and then use a uh, sarin wrap to to cover uh, the whole um, tissue culture box make sure uh, that the wound touches the media so that uh, it has all of the things for it to to grow in the tree and etc Next, uh, we need to find a proper place to store our uh, our culture, which is somewhere near uh, sunlight and also not really exposed to the environment because it will introduce contamination. So uh, in here, I have already wrapped it with a sarin wrap so that it uh, minimizes uh, contamination. So um, I hope that you can try this at home and please bear in mind that it's this is not going to be the same like do it in the lab because uh, there are lots of contaminations around which will affect your uh, growth but at least it has some general ideas of how to do it at home